All right, this is the moment we've been waiting for, I've been waiting for. Uh, KD and Live has installed, at least it said it did, so I've got myself out of root. And now KD, oops, KDE, now tab, tab to show all of the apps that are available. And there it is, KD and Live. Let's run it and see what happens. Now the first thing I want to do is test to see whether or not it supports import to Aug for Aug Vorbis. This is the goal. First time I'm running it, yes. Installed modules. Uh, yes, okay, available codecs. Audio, video, where's video? Ooh. I don't see Aug Orbis in there. Should be in there. M N O P. Not there. Okay, Vorbis. There's the. Uh, let's see. Aug. Nope. Not happy. It's a lot of work to get Aug Vorbis working, and it's not going to support it. Let's. Uh, Let's pull that out. All right. Um, hmm. Not encouraging. Uh, video resolution. Uh, yeah, okay. I don't know which one that is. Activate crash recovery. This is what every application should have, especially in reporting to prob uh, reporting to the server or to the developers. I hope it does that. Okay. Uh, checking system, blah, blah, blah. Okay, it says that you can do all that. That's fine. Preparing launcher, user bin KDED4. K build psychoka. All right. Missing trailing semicolon. Painter not active. Okay, something's happening. All right, this looks like the video editor. Now let's go file. Ooh, where's import? Paste project. Add clip. And I'm going to the desktop. Hmm. Desktop. That's where all of my, here, I'll show you. That's where all my Aug Vorbis are. It's not finding them. Right there, it's not finding them. Not happy.